This is Diecast Street League. And my name is Roy. Roy, we got a good one for you today. And I got a surprise for all y'all today as well. Welcome back. Well, thank you. This is Diecast Street League. We are here in Rock City. It is a beautiful 81 degree day. It's great for racing. Yes, it is. This is Chevy versus Dodge two for one special. Is that like getting two cans of beans for the price of one? Exactly like that. Let's get to these cars. 1967 Chevy Chevelle SS. The driver of that car is Greg from Team Rock City. 970 horsepower. This is a Dodge 1970 Charger RT. I love this car. The driver of that car is Jennifer Curves Jackson from Team Rock City. No power, no car. 950 horsepower. 2015 Dodge Challenger. The driver of that car is Charles from Team Lawman Racing. This car is fast too. 1981 Chevy Camaro. The driver of that car is Baby Richie from Team Puffs Racing. I wouldn't do that with the lawman here. 885 horsepower. There you have it. Those are the cars and drivers that will be putting it all on the line for your viewing pleasure. We're going to best out of four races wins. First place gets three points. Second place gets two. Third place will get one point. That third place point is important. It sure is, Roy. Let's go. Race one about to go down right now. Bud, did you know I'm in this race event? Yeah, Roy. I know you're commentating with me. Duh. I'm not talking about that. Baby Richie has the lead going on the first long straight. Oh, Jennifer Curves Jackson just passed up Charles. Charles got the lead back from Baby Richie and Jennifer. He took the first place lead. Oh, my God. Baby Richie is trying to close the gap. He did. Can he get around Charles? No. Charles will take first place. Baby Richie will take second. Jennifer Curves Jackson will take third. What a race. Hot dang. That was a good first race. It sure was, Roy. Let's check out that replay. Baby Richie had the lead right there. You see Jennifer Curves Jackson passed up Charles for the second place position. But Charles hit them both with the double pass all before the third turn and got the first place position. He sure did. He hit them off with that double pass over the bridge and took that first place position away from Baby Richie. Then Baby Richie was doing everything in his power to try to get that first place position back from Charles. He sure was. But Charles was holding him off nicely. Baby Richie bumped Charles coming out of that fourth turn, but he kept it straight. He bumped him right there, tried to get around on the inside lane, but Charles kept that challenger straight. Charles and the challenger won that race. He showed us something there. He did. And he got a 12, 9, 8 time. First time down the track today, got a 12 cent. The Challenger has three, the Camaro has two, the Chevelle has zero, and the Charger has one. Race two about to go down right now. But I was trying to tell you I'm in this race series. Roar you in every race series. That's not what I mean. Let's go. Charles has the lead going down the first long straight. Oh, Greg is coming to his door. Oh, he passed Charles up for the first place position. Charles is in second place getting harassed by Jennifer. Jennifer spun him out, but somehow Charles kept it straight. Greg will take this one with a big gap. Charles will take second place, and then baby Richie will take third. What a race. They were going at it like a couple of hobos fighting over a chicken sandwich from McDonald's. You see Charles had the lead right there. You see Greg come to his door, pass Charles up for the first place position. Then Jennifer tried to pass Charles up for the second place position. Right there, even spun him out. Check this out right here. Got door to door with Charles, tried to spin him out and take that second place position. But Charles kept it straight. Yeah, Roy, they were all grouped up trying to get a good position coming out of that third turn. Yeah, just like my cousin Paul T. <laughs> and coming out of the fourth turn, Greg was all by himself, a solo shot at the finish line. 
He had time to scratch his bum bum very intensely. <laughs> Greg and Chevelle won that race. I was hoping one of the Mopars was going to win. He had a 12-8-0 time. You know you're supposed to stay unbiased, Roy. I'm not buying us nothing. The Challenger has five, the Camaro has three, the Chevelle has three, and the Charger has one. Okay. Race three about to go down right now. Bud, can you pass me that racing helmet right there? For what, Roy? I'm getting ready for a race. I told you, Bud. Dang. Whatever, Roy. Let's go. Greg has the lead going down the first long straight. Jennifer's in second. Charles is in third. Charles just got to Jennifer door and passed her up. Made her crash. Charles is trying to catch Greg. He's about 10 cars out in front. Can he do anything to close the gap? No, but he just got passed up by Baby Richie. Baby Richie took the inside lane for the second place victory. That was another good race. What's going on here today? I don't know, Roy, but let's check it out. You see, Greg had the lead right there. Jennifer Kerr Jackson was in second place, but then Charles passed her up, made her crash right there. That was a dirty maneuver by Charles, wasn't it? Yeah, Roy, that goes to prove everybody wants to win no matter if they own your team or not. I guess you're right. Charles just hit her with the pit maneuver and made her flip on the roof like a cockroach just got sprayed with rain. But then Baby Richie passed Charles up on the last straight right there at the line. Got him right there, door to door, passed him up. Second place was his. Greg and Chevelle won that race. He put a big gap on him, didn't he? He got a 13-2-3 time. These are some good times getting put up. Yeah, Roy, they are. The Challenger has six, the Camaro has five, the Chevelle has six, and the Charger has one. Race four about to go down right now. But I gotta go. Roy, where you going? We got races to do. I gotta get ready, bud, bye. Ready for what, Roy? We got a whole race to finish. Whatever, let's go. Jennifer Curves Jackson has the lead going down the first long straight. Greg is in second place. Baby Richie is in third. Greg is closing the gap. He took the inside lane and got the pass. And Baby Richie got the pass on Jennifer as well. Oh my God, Greg would take first place. Baby Richie would take second DNF for Charles and Jennifer. What a race. Let's check it out right here. Jennifer had the lead right here. You see Greg was two cars behind Jennifer. Coming out of the second turn, Greg was still two cars behind. He closed the gap coming out of the third and then took the inside lane, got the pass on Jennifer before the fourth turn. Nasty. Where the heck is Roy at? Anyway, Greg got the pass on Jennifer. That was a great pass. I didn't think he was going to get it done before the fourth turn, but he did. And then Baby Richie passed Jennifer as well going into the S-curves. She is not having a good race day today. Baby Richie spun out right there. Jennifer would have got around Baby Richie, but instead she collided with Baby Richie and sent him into second place. And she got a DNF along with Charles. Greg and the Chevelle won that race. I don't know what the heck Roy's up to now. Maybe he's getting nachos at the concession stand or something. Greg got a 13-9-0 time. Can someone tell me what the heck Roy's up to? The Challenger has six, the Camaro has seven, the Chevelle has nine, and the Charger has one. Greg and the Chevelle won his race event. He's been running great. Up next is group two. 2015 Dodge Viper. Roy would love this car. The driver is Roy from Team Rock City. <laughs> what? And it has 850 horsepower. 2015 Dodge Hellcat. The driver of that car is Owen Williams from Team Drag Racing Street. 950 horsepower 2011 Chevy Corvette ZL1 the driver of that car is Wiki from Team Daytona Beach 875 horsepower 
1985 Chevy Camaro I Rock Z. The driver of that car is Keith Smith from Team Rock City. A thousand horsepower. Race one, group two. About to go down right now. Man, I cannot wait to see what Roy do in this race. Guys, I have never seen Roy race a car yet. I hope he can drive. Let's go! Wiki has the lead going down the first on straight. Owen just got passed up by Keith Smith. No, Owen got the lead back, and then Roy tried to make a move for the second place position. Oh, Owen spun out Wiki and took the first place away from Wiki. Can she close? Oh, he wrecked. She took the first place, and then Roy passed her up right at the line for the first place position. What a race. What is going on here today? Roy got the first victory in the first race he's ever raced in. Oh, my God. Owen will take a DNF. Let's get to that replay. You see, Wiki had the lead. Owen was in second place. Keith Smith took the second place for a quick second away from Owen. But Owen took it back from Keith Smith and challenged Wiki for the first place position. You see, Roy right there tried to get the second place away from Owen. Yeah, but I tried to take the inside right there on Owen Williams for that second place position, but he did not give it up. Roy, how are you talking to me right now? I have a microphone in my helmet, bud. I was planning it ahead of time. I wasn't missing work. Roy, you can actually drive that car. Where did you get that car? I've been saving up, bud. This has been my top secret project. Oh, okay. Well, dang, Roy, you got around Owen right here. I thought you was going to crash, and then you took the outside lane and got the pass on Wiki for the first place? I've been telling y'all I can drive all this whole time. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, Roy. I forgive you. Roy won that race in that Viper. Wow. What you mean, wow? I had a 16, 10 second time? That's bad. The Camaro has one, the Corvette has two, the Viper has three, and the Hellcat has zero. Race two, how about to go down right now? Bud, bet me 30 bucks I come in third place in this race. Roy, what type of bet is that? One I can win. No thank you, Roy. Cheapskate, I need to focus. Let's go. Keith Smith has the lead going down the first long straight. Wiki is at his door trying to challenge. Oh, she is trying to get the first place away and got it from Keith Smith. And Owen took the second place away from Keith Smith as well. Owen just bullied. Wiki and took the first place away from Wiki. Oh, Roy tried to challenge Wiki for the second place position. Got around Keith Smith for the third place point. But you should have bet me I would have been $30 richer. I was tempted, but I'm glad I didn't, Roy. Let's get to this replay. You see, Keith Smith had the first place position right there, and then Wiki came to his door, got the pass on Keith Smith. Owen Williams got the pass as well. Yeah, bud, Keith Smith came into contact with Wiki Corvette and jumped the curb. And that allowed Owen Williams to get around Keith Smith for the second place position. It sure did, and allowed me to catch up to Keith Smith going into this fourth turn right there. And Owen Williams crashed into Wiki Corvette with that Hellcat and took the first place position away from Wiki. And the cameraman must have been sleeping at the wheel because he did not catch me passing Keith Smith up for that third place point. I'm mad. Well, I guess he got some of it. Maybe we got it on camera three. These are all my highlight clips right here. Owen Williams and the Hellcat Challenger won that race. He got a 14.40 time. I almost got Wiki there at the line, didn't I? <laughs> The Camaro has one, the Corvette has four, the Viper has four, and the Hellcat has three. Race three, about to go down right now. Roy, you about to go head to head with Keith Smith. He owed me a hundred bucks still. He gonna have to pay up after this race. Roy, you will never see that hundred bucks. Yeah, if I win this race, we bet that hundred. Let's go. 
Keith Smith has the lead going down the first long straight. Wiki is on his bumper. He has no air to breathe. Oh, he has a little breathing room right there. Took off with about a four-car lead going into the fourth turn. Oh, Roy got the pass on Wiki coming out of the S curves for the second place position. Keith Smith would take first place. Wiki would take third. What a race. Man, Roy is showing me something today. Keith Smith had the league right here. You see Wiki was all on his bumper. He had no air to breathe. Out of the third turn, he took off with a five-car lead. Wiki had a three-car lead on me coming out of that third turn. Look, I bumped her right there. Boom. And that's how you got around her. You bumped her, Roy. You playing dirty. You know I love that dirty stuff. Yeah, I know you do. That's why I was a little worried about you racing. Keith Smith and the IROC won that 12, race. 9, 5 time. The Camaro has four. The Corvette has five. The Viper has six. And the Hellcat has three. Race four about to go down. Oh, right but I'm now. getting nervous. Roy. Well, at least you're in your own car smelling your own fart. And all the windows is up. Oh, damn. You can't roll them down because that's bad for aerodynamics, Roy. I know. I'm suffering it out, okay? Let's... Roy has the lead going down the first long straight. Keith Smith is all on his bumper. Roy cannot shake him. Oh, my God. Keith Smith bumped him right there, but Roy kept it straight. Keith Smith is about four cars back. Roy looks like he's in control of this race. Can Keith Smith close the gap? No. Roy stumbled slightly. Keith Smith cannot close the gap, but he got passed up by Keith Smith Owen Williams on to the be outside having trouble lane today. for the Yeah, but position. I did not think I was going to beat Keith Smith out in the race. You and me both, Roy. Every dog would have their day to shine, and today was mine. Roy, I have to be honest. I thought you had no chance of winning this race series, especially against Keith Smith. Well, and you Wiki. see, I had the lead right here on Keith Smith, but he was on my bumper. I'm telling you, I was looking in my rear view, and I might have been shaking in one Roy, or two of my I thought Keith boots. Smith was going to catch you right here in the S curves going into that fourth turn. You know he handles curves yeah, I really was well. aware of that. And I thought he was going to catch me. He did catch up slightly, but then I took off coming out of that fourth yeah, turn. Roy, he must have stumbled. Smith did stumble coming out of the S curves, and that allowed Owen Williams to pass him up on the outside lane for the second place position. Yeah, he did. Look at it right there. He got Roy the pass on in Keith the Smith. Viper one. Yes, sir, I did. Roy, I'm really proud of you. I got a 13 6 5 time. Roy, you can actually drive. I've been trying to tell you, bud. The Camaro has five. The Corvette has five. The Viper has nine. And the Hellcat has five. Roy and the Viper won sure his did. race Keith Smith event. Pay up that hundred bucks. They both will move on to round two, where Greg will be representing Chevy and Roy will be representing Other Dodge. Other brands have two cars left. Mo car or no car. That's how I feel about if it. If Roy wins it all, he wins it for Dodge. If Greg wins it all, he wins it for Chevy. Even though they are by themselves. Thanks for watching Diecast Street League. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the bell for all post it notifications. It is free.